Let's start this video with a very interesting round of one of the games I played last week. Take a look at it and tell me if you notice something. Now the big question, did you notice it? At first glance, you might just saw me sitting in a corner with my ultimate and placing it on a random moment. But this was not true, my friends. If you struggle with timing your kill your ultimate, a very nice thing you can do is wait till you hear the gecko wingman running. That moment you're pretty certain that the enemies are planting the spike and then use your ultimate. That's what I did in this round and in the end we could defuse the spike and the enemies were too late to defend it. I thought that this was an interesting round to start the video with. It sets the team because in this video I'll show you 12 minutes and 16 seconds of kill and competitive tips and tricks. This video is part of the Killjoy 2 Ascendant series. Last episode we got to Platinum 3, so let's hope we get Diamond today. Let's hop into the first game. Hello everyone. Let's start this game in the second round, where we planted the spike on B. A post plant strat I always use with Killjoy is placing my alarm bolt and one down swarm on the spike and use the second down swarm with the lineup. Usually this is very effective because the enemies won't be able to destroy both nano swarms. However, it's important that you know a lineup from a safe spot. And here on Sunset, I had no lineup for my second grenade, and this is the reason I died in this round. But all good, can my teammate win this 1v3? Oh! 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 No! <laughs> Almost my friend. And also, I just have to learn a lineup now, right? So I don't make the same mistake again. Luckily, it's very simple. Go to mid and stand in this corner. Match the top diamond of your right click ability with the top of these tiles. And do a jumping throw. The cool thing about this one is that after you throw it, you can lurk through middle. And you might be able to get a kill from market. But back to the game now. A nice way to enter A on sunset is to place your ultimate over here. It will cover the whole site except for the defender spawn. But all you gotta do is ask a teammate to smoke that. And then enter with your team. Sadly, I messed up later that round because again, I didn't have lineups on this map. The rest of the first half went pretty bad, so let's go to the second half now. At the beginning of this round, my teammates spotted that all the enemies were in B main. So of course, we from A had to rotate. But when you look at the minimap, you might notice that already four of my teammates were on B side. So there was no point for me going B, my teammates could hold it easily. That's the reason why I was pushing mid to cut the enemies off if they were to rotate. Rotate, they rotate. A lot of stuff. Yeah, I'm going back. Nice. This is a moment where you cut the enemies off. This is a textbook way of pushing aggressive on the defender side. I made a whole video about it last week and in the end it worked out. Keep in mind that in those pushing situations you don't have to push alone because a few rounds later the exact same thing happened and this time I pushed together with my teammate Clove. Whoa, 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 wait. Rewind that. Mr. Lowlander, why did you pull out your classic and not push with your Fendel? Well, I wanted to go for a running gun. Is it the good strategy? No ID. But don't underestimate the power of the running burst fire shot. It was a pretty easy first game and in the end we won. Plus 21 RR. Let's go to the next one. Hello everyone. You know that rule that you have to learn things the hard way? Well, my friends, over here on Bind, I died so many times with people chilling in either the left or the right corner. And because I died so many times, I finally checked it. Woohoo, Mr. Lowlander, I'm proud of you! Honestly, you don't want to know how many times I died over there. Also, look at this. One enemy remaining. Kills your tippy when there are five teammates alive and only one enemy. Don't waste your abilities on the spike, save them for next round. If you buy a spectre, I would not recommend to go for long range fights. Even a sheriff is better on long range, so don't do what I do in this round. Uh, what? Did I lag or did I? My bad. Oh, I have no idea if I lacked or, or if I'm bad. Um, Mr. Lowlander, I don't want to um, hurt your feelings or something, but this definitely was not lag. This proves that you can get to a high rank with game knowledge, because my aim is not very good. Wanna see a lucky kill? This is how I make my headshots, just do the tut 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 tut. What? If you want to use the Killjoy ultimate on the attacker side on bind, you basically have two options, either in shower or in this corner on B. If your teammate smokes spawn, site is basically free. In the Let's move on and talk about this round. I said it at the start of this video, but I say it again. One swarm grenade on the spike and another one for a lineup. Luckily on this map I knew a lineup, but can Mr. Lowlander win the 1v1? I thought she would... Uh, uh. It's okay, it's okay. A very important detail, as you noticed, I activated my swarm grenade before I hear the enemy defusing the spike. If you activate it too late, the enemy will probably destroy it. Oi, oi, oi. 
I, I think I got it. I think I got it. Or not. Yeah, I'll, I'll calculate it. Like. Luckily, I won the round. And this is the strength of a good leader, my friend. So learn them before you start playing KJ. And about the swarm grenades. A very underrated thing with Killjoy is using your swarm grenade to get enemies out of corners. On the attacker side, a lot of people will save them for the post plant. But this round proves that you also should be using your swarm grenades during the round. So now and then. I'm smoked up. Oh, low, I got him. Is ready. Yeah, I got ult. Let's. Uh... Last players. Bad repeek, Mr. Lowlander. Bad repeek. Big tippy to everyone. If the enemy know where you are, don't repeek on a stupid way like I did. But reposition and play with your abilities. I should have used my ultimate. Let's go to the second half now. In the first gun round, I was holding lamps. But the thing you gotta know about lamps is that if the enemy has breach, I would not recommend to stand too deep into it because his flash stun combination can really mess you up. Luckily, in this round, I could walk out of flash range and after that get some easy kills. Okay, is it just me or do other people also just hate saving? In this round, it's a 1v4. We didn't have a lot of money. So it's definitely the right call to save over here. But it's not what I did. I want to get those kills right. Some of you might have noticed that I don't talk a lot during this game. And the main reason is that I felt a bit sick last week. So in this game, I'm just vibing, chilling out, you know. It's time for another handy tippy. If your teammate Sofa is using his ultimate, often the enemies will play a bit more aggressive to try to kill that Sofa. So when you notice that your teammate pressed R, pay attention to your surroundings. There's a higher chance that the enemy will push through a smoke, just like the Reyna did in this round. I got you, Sofa. I won't let you down there. Nice. Game plus 22 RR. Let's go to the next one. Let's start this game in the second round because something went wrong with my recording in the first round. If you ever lose the first round on the attacker side, in the second round, your only goal should be to either get a kill and try to plant the spike. The reason is because you have worse guns than the enemy, so getting a kill and planting the spike for money is usually all good enough. Plant for money. So if you ever come into a situation like this, don't fake out the spike in the hope that the enemy pushes you. Just plant the spike so you at least got the money. Oh. oh, imagine, imagine. Oh yeah, my mic sounds a bit different in this game because I got some problems with recording. Whoopsie. Let's skip ahead in this game and go to this round. We planted the spike on C and it's a 1v2 situation. Can Mr. Lowlander win it? Placing swarm grenade. Fuck, fuck. That is so bad. And again, Mr. Lowlander loses a round because he doesn't know his lineups. This proves again that you need to learn at least the post plant lineups, my friends. For the Haven one, I was standing over here. This is bad. You need to stand in this corner and then aim underneath the tiles. Because if you throw it then, it will land on the spike. My bad, my bad. I know it won't happen again. Now let me give you a very big tip about lineups. If you think you got a lineup on the map, but you're not sure, just throw that lineup and test if it works. I know you're wasting 200 gold, but it's better to waste 200 gold than to do the lineup up in a clutch situation and then failing and lose the round because of it so in this round i tested the lineup when the round was over One enemy and yeah yeah i know i noticed it too it wasn't even close to the spike it's been three years since i played killjoy i need to refresh those lineups in a custom game after this match but anyway in the next round since i suck at doing lineups i decided to just play from sight and this worked out a little better what hello Remaining. Don't you also get some kills that you really don't deserve? What was Jet doing over here? Welcome in Diamond, I guess. I don't deserve that at all, but we got him. Let's talk about holding C on Haven. Something you shouldn't be doing is peeking deep from this box unless you have an operator. Because often you'll peek into 5 enemies and that's not very good. However, there's one exception and that's if a teammate is sitting in that corner over there and the enemies spot your teammate. When they do that, they get distracted by your teammate and that's a good moment for you to push. So in this round I waited with peeking until my teammate Iso got spotted. Sorry for baiting Iso. Nice. And if you don't got a teammate in that corner, another thing you can do is place your sentry in this corner and then wait with peeking until your sentry goes off. Often the enemies will get distracted by your sentry, so easy peasy kills. Whoa, my bot got a kill. Sadly, we lost this game in the end. But no worries, in the next game this happened. What? 
I got a kill. And we won. Easy peasy. Then I played another game where my teammate was fade and this happened. You take it. I have to recon first. Let's go. Oh, okay. But uh, let's switch after. Oh. Let's go. Oi, 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 oi. Honestly, that trick never gets old. Even in Platinum and Diamond, it's still usable. It also might help for the fact that we don't have a sofa in our team, but we did this trick with the fate. And we won this game in the end. Let's go to the next one. Hello, everyone. Something you should be doing with Killjoy is taking the ultimate orbs. This is something that I personally not do a lot with other agents, but with Killjoy, I do it more because her ultimate is so strong. And we won the first round easy peasy. <laughs> Oh, last one is... Heaven, heaven, heaven. You remember the orb that I took in the first round? Well, because of that orb and this orb over here, I could already use my ultimate in the fourth round. And because of my ulti, we got the side for free and we won. So, my friends, big tip, take those ultimate orbs. One enemy remaining. This one hit. If you ever push through an enemy sage wall, always check on top of it, you sneaky little sage. Oh, I'm stunned. He's in, in our, our spawn. A thing you always gotta remember is that the less bullets you have, the more accurate you need to be. So here on Sage, I only had four bullets left. This meant that the last few shots had to count. And that's why it took a little longer to aim for the head of Sage. When you look at this game, you might notice that we were pushing A every round. But in some games, you use a strategy that really works. And if you look at the scoreboard, we were winning so hard. So why change the strategy, right? Let's push A again. My bad. Oh, nice shot. Second half, I got some nice headshots in this round. Oh la la. I even got a lucky mid air headshot. Nice and after a few more headshots. We won the game. Let's see, we did got the MVP and we got the promotion. Let's go, my friends. Diamond won. Woo, 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 woo. Diamond won a beautiful rank. I guess the road through Diamond begins, my friends. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you learned something and I see you guys in the next one. Peace.